Hi, my name's Tron, and this is my show, A Canadian Scheme, where, in the intro of all of my videos, I'm gonna name what I do in one of the series on my channel. Despite the fact that I say this in every single video I upload, only about 10% of my total videos actually involve that series. The other 90% of my videos are just me insulting vulnerable MJ fanatics, because they're an easy target. Anyway, look at this absolute fucking loser. Now, I'm gonna explain to all of you maggots out there why I'm Jesus, and this fucking four-eyed loser is pathetic and dumb and is nothing to me. Let's, let's take a look at his shitty video. And just like with all my reactions, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the entire video and give you very professional, factual criticism. And I, and I promise that just like with all my videos, I will not just cut out two seconds of it. Wow. That was absolutely disgusting. What a loser. How the fuck could anybody support this guy after what he's done? Don't ask me what he's done, but he's done terrible things. This is horrible. The worst video on YouTube. What kind of a scumbag would ever even dare to put Michael Jackson on his wall? You know, that poster... I'm, sh I'm, I'm certain that's not a frame, but anyway, I say it's a poster, so therefore it is. Anyway, I am Canadian Scheme, okay? And you must all bow to me, because clearly everybody loves my videos, because I have the greatest like-to-dislike ratio in the history of YouTube. I'm like fucking PewDiePie, and even my views are the greatest, so follow me. This video he made about me is no different than any other video he's made to any other YouTuber. It's just him swearing like a crazy nutcase and thinking that he's telling facts while just shoving his thumb up his ass like he always does. So let's just watch this and laugh. Hi, I'm John. This is my show, An American Scheme, where I'm proving that Diana Ross is Michael Jackson's actual mother. <sighs> She would have to have had Michael Jackson at 15 years old, but you know, we'll just ignore that. Um, you know, the thing is, like, people have asked me to actually prove you wrong, but what is the point? What would be the point of proving you wrong about this? It's not like you're ever going to accept it anyway. You ignore anything that everyone tells you. All of your videos can be very easily debunked, and I would do that if you would just have a fucking Skype call with me, but whatever. So there's uh, this loser. There was his page, uh, Matt, Matt, FTR. I, I don't watch this guy's. Oh, I gotta pretend that I don't know his username because it's not like I've ever been to his channel before. <laughs> what a fucking liar. You literally commented on like four of my videos just in the past month. And I think three of them were videos that I made like two months ago. So not only do you watch my videos, at least some of them, comment on them, but you even scrolled back to watch an older one. If you're wondering what that was, it was my Ghostbusters 3 rant. Yeah, and that was only last week, but I made that like over two or three months ago, so <laughs> what a fucking liar. <laughs> but then again, we already knew that. And more to elaborate on the Diana Ross thing, the reason why I'm not going to waste my fucking time is because why would I waste my time explaining something when the only person who thinks it to be true is you. There's a reason why your videos get not just 90% dislikes, but 100% dislikes, because nobody actually agrees with you. Like, yes, I mean, I've said on numerous occasions that generally people who get a lot of dislikes actually have good videos because they're hard to find and people want to censor good content, and people who get a lot of likes and have a lot of views are really like those douche tubers and they make shitty fucking content yet they're followed by millions of people and have like 90% likes. Because that's just the kind of society we live in. But there are some times where people get mass dislikes and actually do deserve it. 
And uh, in this case, it's true for you. I've seen him a couple times. I know just enough who he was. I tried to talk to him before in the beginning. Oh, you tried to talk to me? <laughs> is that despite the fact that the only way you'll even talk in a comment is if I comment to you first and you just respond? You've never came to my channel on your own with the desire to talk. You only talk if I go to your channel first and ask you a question or try to manipulate you into responding to me. And you're very easy to manipulate, by the way, uh, because you're a narcissist. And uh, I've asked you to debate, and you keep denying it because of, because you're such a fucking pussy. Because he claimed to be some kind of a Michael Jackson fan. Oh, I claimed to be some kind of Michael Jackson fan. Yeah, you're right. You know that frame behind me? I deliberately put it there just for you. <laughs> I'm just claiming. You know, it's not like I've been a fan since I was six years old, and I became the most popular fan on all of YouTube. No, no, no. <laughs> If you look back on the wall right there, he's got a poster, Michael Jackson. I think he did some dance poster. Dancing Michael Jackson. Oh, you think I did some dancing? Not like I've been dancing for the last 11 years and have uploaded like a hundred videos of me doing Michael Jackson impersonations, right? No, no, just, just, just some dancing here and there. I love how he pretends like he doesn't know me, like he hasn't taken an interest. It's so fucking funny. And stuff. But if you see right here in the beginning, he says, I'm not going to talk about John's page because it's about Michael Jackson. Correct. I didn't want to talk about your page because it's about Michael Jackson. I left the Michael Jackson community back in 2014. And any time I've talked about Michael Jackson since then, it's only, be, it's only been because people, you know, like were requesting things, Patreon donation, or it was a topic that I really, really needed to talk about. And even with you, in that video, I wasn't talking about your channel, I was talking about you specifically as a person. So what the fuck's wrong with you? Is that a, is that a difficult concept for you? <laughs> because... <laughs> the, it's, it's hilarious because the only reason I'm here is to talk about Michael Jackson. Yeah, the only reason you're here is to talk about Michael Jackson. For about 16 videos. The, the, I'm here to talk about Michael Jackson. Partially. My other 200 videos... I'm here to talk about fans, for no reason, who I find vulnerable because they're autistic. I can make fun of them without a problem. <laughs> but what does he want? The first thing, oh, I'm not going to talk about Michael Jackson and what John's actually here doing. Let me just throw a whole bunch of insults at him. So Are you angry that I decided to talk about you as a person as opposed to your channel? I had reasons why. Like, and also, like I said before, there's nothing, when it comes to your channel... There's nothing to talk about. 90% of it is you insulting fans for no reason, and the other 10% is your stupid Diana Ross thing that nobody buys because it makes no fucking sense and it has no factual basis behind it. By the way, in regards to the whole insulting autistic people, just for full disclosure, yes, I used to make fun of Ashley off the wall an awful lot. However, and I'm not going to talk about it here because I'm not comfortable with this, but I have a lot of personal reasons for why I did that. I didn't do it just because he's autistic. I did it for personal reasons that I'm not going to say. Let me just show you one little thing really quick. He's just doing, he's making it all up because there's no way a person can be this fucked up. <laughs> it was no, I'm going to show about four seconds of Matt's video. <laughs> I can debunk the whole thing if I don't show it. That's enough. Whatever it is he's saying. So... Whatever it is he's saying, thanks for showing your active listening skills there. The one thing is that I'm making stuff up. Okay, prove me wrong then. Go, look at my work, challenge my fucking facts. If I'm making... Well, you are making stuff up, because even if you do believe what you're saying, at first I didn't believe that you were, but maybe you really do believe this shit that flies out of your mouth. <laughs> but even if you do believe in it... It doesn't mean that it makes any sense. You're not telling facts. You'll make a video and say like, Hey, this one time, Michael Jackson shook Diana Ross's hand. I told you she was his mom. Like, that's not ev- You don't know what- you, you don't know what evidence is. Please don't ever be a lawyer or a detective. Pick stuff up, prove me. It'd be easy for any quality Michael Jackson fan who- knows For any quality Michael Jackson fan. <laughs> Dude. Dude, listen up, sunshine. I went up against Mike Parr, who is the biggest anti 
Michael Jackson person, the biggest pro-Michael Jackson victim believer on the history of YouTube, and I was the very first fan, and biggest one, to go up against him from 2013 to 2014. I made like 16 videos against him, and every single one, I debunked the living shit out of him. Granted, when I stopped making videos about him, he actually became really popular, and he got this new like website or something called MJ Victims, and he started doing like podcasts and stuff. He actually became pretty popular, because that's what happens when you're a dumbass, you become popular. But the point is that when I was making videos about him, I was owning his ass. Like, he was running for the fucking woods when I, whenever I made a video about him. And he was the biggest, like, supporter of Michael's supposed victims on the entire website. Dude, you don't know me as your target. I am your number one foe because unlike most fans, especially these young modern day fans who call themselves moonwalkers, I am far more for formidable than any of them. <laughs> knows anything who has any real evidence, she should be able to shove you down so quick and easy. I can shove you down quick and easy. Your videos make no sense. They have no facts to them. All you do is scream, scream and lament shit that you pulled out of your ass. Your videos have such few facts in them that I don't even need to do a direct response. You are such a pussy you won't even debate me on Skype, so why should I waste my fucking time by watching your 16-part Michael Jackson story that, according to you, this is your words by the way, I have to actually go scrolling through your channel to find them because you refused to send me a direct link. Yeah. Okay, but now let me express to you, the reason this moron did the video, see, it's not, he's not here trying- You can call me a moron. You must be one hell of a moron. Trying to, uh, talk about Michael Jackson, which that's what I'm obviously talking about, right? No, 90% of your videos are talking about fans from Alex Blanco, Ashley Off the Wall, Moonwalker Maddie, Teresa, me, Michael Trapson, uh, River Gibbs, and the list goes on. That's all you do, is bitch and complain. You not talk about my- For God's sakes, look at one of your recent videos. You made a video about fucking Lavelle Smith's documentary, and you got angry just because he started the video talking about Michael Jackson dying? Like... <laughs> You played the clip where Lavelle says that news stations were calling him. Lavelle says, CNN was calling me, they were calling me. And you thought, and you actually took that as Lavelle being, oh, oh, it's me, 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 look how special I am. That's how fucked your brain is. You actually hear somebody saying, the news called me, and you think the person's being conceited. That is you deflecting because of your own narcissism and how you see yourself. All he actually did was talk about Michael's death, how he felt about it, and what happened during those times. They called him, so he said that. That's not an egotistical thing, you fucknut. If you want to see egotistical, just click your channel name, An American Scheme, and boom, you're done. Michael Jackson, the reason this moron made a video about me is because my page has a little bit of attention right now. Your page has a little bit of attention? <laughs> I get more views than you, even today. <laughs> your videos have a 100% dislike rating. The only people who do watch you are angry Michael Jackson fans. <laughs> and you think you're popular. <laughs> Dude, you are genuinely so fucking delusional. Now, people are talking about my page. Nobody talks about what he does. <laughs> well, you're kind of right. You see... I make amazing videos, like really amazing videos. I talk about the world and problems. I don't talk about MJ anymore unless it's like something like this. But I make, you know, important advice, advice videos, you know, giving life lessons, talking about corruption in the world. And I talk about really important things. And, uh, you know, YouTube has censored me because they don't like that kind of stuff. And as for like, pe like people on YouTube, like my own subscribers, 
My subscriber base is filled with a bunch of fucking Michael Jackson fanatics, and in case you didn't know, John, I actually hate MJ fans. That's the reason why I left the community back in 2014. Um, I agree with them that you're a moron, but I don't like Michael Jackson fans, and I don't like the majority of my fan base because the majority of my fan base only watches me if I'm talking about something MJ related. They don't care about real important videos. But if you actually went to my channel, and watch the stuff that they upload weekly where I'm talking about real, you know, life things or, you know, news events, things in the world where I'm talking about actual important things and trying to clean up the corruption in our world. You'll see that what I talk about is extremely deep, extremely important, and extremely intellectual. So, you know, people don't like that because people don't have very big brains in 2019. But if people did, they would love my channel, okay? And the reason why people don't is because we live in an age where stupidity gets the attention. But if someone is smart, they're pushed down. That's the reality, but I'm sure, I'm sure you know reality better, right, stupid? So what he did is what I'm trying to express to you what that actually is in the real life is a lot of you people haven't been around and you don't know that like as a man I dealt with all kinds of crazy women and sometimes you get these crazy women. Okay, so now he's gonna go into like the most fucking hilarious tangent I've ever heard. What he's trying <laughs> What he's trying to say is that there are some women out there who enjoy really rough rapey sex and he relates that to me, thinking that I'm, I am like a woman who enjoys rough sex, so I'm trying to get John to basically turn me into his bitch because I enjoy it. Even though, <clears throat> I've already made you my bitch, John. I mean, look at the way I manipulated you into making this video. And who's the one talking calmly? Me. Who's the one screaming their head off? You. A fully grown 47 year old man, apparently, who still wears their baseball cap backwards when they're almost 50 years old. <laughs> anyway, enjoy his tangent about women who enjoy being raped. And when you're having sex with them, they actually want you to smack them around, call them a slut, smack them, fuck you, you stupid whore. They fucking love that shit. There's chicks that are into that. They want you to smack them. They want you to, like, almost rape them. They want it to be... Actually, they want you to rape them, but they're letting you do it. But they want it to be like rape. So this loser right here, he wants me to smack him around like a bitch. That's what he did. He didn't come and say, come talk to me about Michael Jackson. Yes, I did. I asked you to debate me, like, five times. So shut the fuck up, you fucking liar. He threw a bunch of insults at me because in his mind, he said the best way to get this guy to retaliate against me with a video so I could then get some attention about myself. Yeah, I did get you to retaliate now, didn't I? Oh, except the, the wrong part of that was that I'm trying to get some attention for myself. Dude, if I wanted attention... I would have kept making Michael Jackson videos over the last five years. Every time I talk about Michael Jackson, my views are at, at least two to three thousand, sometimes a lot more than that. But when I talk about important life things, I only get a couple hundred. I talk about important life things because those are the topics that are important to me and the world. I'm not on YouTube to get views. If I was, Every video I make would have Michael Jackson in the title. I don't care about the views anymore. So you are wrong. Very wrong. You, however, do care about views. That's why, as I've said, all you do is target Michael Jackson fans who call you out. And you, like I said, you only target vulnerable fans who are young, you know, don't know very much about the community, don't know much about how to deal with people like you, uh, or have mental disorders. Or very, very, very popular ones like Alex Blanco, Michael Trapson, River Gibbs, etc. Is to insult him personally. Yeah, well, no, I didn't insult you personally. I just told the truth about you personally. Okay, yeah, you did insult me personally, you... And you sound so hurt. <laughs> Bitch! Not
You bitch. I'm gonna smack you around like you stupid little bitch you are. You like this video about you, you dumb little bitch? Yeah! I fucking love it, it's hilarious. Yeah! yeah. That's how you like it, isn't it, you bitch? Yeah. Why are you talking about me while fantasizing about fucking somebody? Are, are you gay or what? Yeah, I'll give it to you good! Yeah, baby, that's how you like it! Yeah, daddy does it good for you, don't he? Fucking loser. Hi. <sighs> oh, God, that was funny. Anyway, dude, I can't wait for your response. <laughs>